Okay, we'll go through a few of the menus on the Fluke VT04 Visual IR Thermometer. First option that I'd like to go over is the ability to turn on and off the hot and cold markers. All you do is you select this icon, hit select, and it gives you the option to select or deselect. In this instance, I'll select it. You're now back at the main menu. The next option that you have is the ability to determine uh, whether you want to be taking temperature readings in Fahrenheit or Celsius. Again, by hitting select and toggling up or down, you have the ability to change the metric. The next item is the ability to set the date and the time. Again, you hit select. The difference this time is that it takes you to a second uh, level menu. From here, you set the date. You can do the 12 hour uh, or 24 hour uh, setup, and then you can set the time. Again, you hit select, and you can move over up, down keys will allow you to set your, set your time. Hit menu to go back. Now you're at your menu. Here's a couple alarm features we go over in other videos. The next item is if you want to review uh, images that are on your camera, you go to this icon and simply hit select and it will allow you to scroll through your images. Next item is the ability to adjust emissivity depending on uh, the target that you are uh, taking a look at. For a full list of uh, emissivity values, you can go to uh, the fluke.com website. The next item is the ability to select color palettes. The VTO4 has six color palettes. The VTO2 has five color palettes. You can choose the one that will allow you to best uh, look at and troubleshoot the application that you're looking at. And again, you hit select. Last item that I'd like to show is background temperature. Depending on uh, the background temperature of the area that you're shooting, you can adjust this. Uh, it does default to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. 